and meet Sheba. She is very, very nervous this evening. But my friends, she has reason to be nervous. Uh, please, uh, have you seen any witches around here? You? No, no mean witches. Oh, beautiful Isabella. No mean witches. We are safe here. We can wish to our friends, Buon Natale. Do you know what does this mean, Boratale? Merry Christmas! See, sí, Merry Christmas! Yes, I have a story for you tonight, huh? My name is La Befana, and I am a witch. But I am a very good witch, see? Now, this is why I must disguise myself, because the mean witches, they tease me. That's not very nice, huh? No, I think they are jealous because they know that La Befana, I am the gift giver in my country, in Italia. So, if you have been very, very good, La Befana brings toys and goodies and sweets, yes? But if you have been maybe not so very good, what do you think La Bafana might bring you then, huh? Oh, oh my goodness, everybody knows this. Oh, no, I have to keep an eye on everyone, huh? I know you have a different gift giver, no? Is that right? Who is that? I am Santa Claus, Santa Claus. See, well, I must tell you something. I have been bringing gifts down the chimneys of the Bambini a long time before old Saint Nick was even a bambino himself, huh? Now your Santa Claus, what does he fly up on? Hmm? Flies on, huh? Why you think you think on the broom, on the broomstick, because I am a witch. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Did I scare you? No, I am not scary. Now, when we get socks and underwear for Christmas, eh, that's a little scary, huh? Now, your Santa Claus, I know, he likes to visit you on Christmas, yes, on the Christmas Eve. But do you know when La Befana comes to visit you? January 6th. Hey, very good, my friend, very good. Yes, I wait a little while after Christmas. I visit you on the night of January the 5th, the eve before the Epiphany. And would you like to know why? Ah, yeah. oh, good. Everybody say to me, oh, why La Befana? Why? I'm so glad you asked. I tell you now, you know, there are many, many ways that my tale is told throughout all of Italia. It's with sand. Whoosh and camels, and no running water. We were very stinky people back then, huh? Once upon a time, more than 2,000 years ago, Italia was the center of a great empire, much, much bigger than she is today. And Roma stretched all the way out to what we now call the Middle East. And me, well, I lived in a lonely little cottage at the edge of the great road where all the caravans of camels passed by. And one evening, I am sweeping in front of my little cottage and a group of travelers approaches me, riding up on the camel's backs. Oh, so exotic. They are dressed like kings and, well, the men were dressed like kings, not the camels. But they are so excited. All the men point this way and that way, but they speak with uh, funny words. They are words La Befana does not know. But one word they say, I always remember. They say, Bethlehem. You've heard this before? Yes, it's good to know the Bethlehem after the stories, but you know, way, way back then. No, sir, I am sorry. I do not know what the Bethlehem is. Ah, 
La Bufana. The big star up in the sky is there to tell us that a great king has been born in Bethlehem, and we are following his star. Oh, now I understand. See, La Bufana has seen the star. It is why the sky is so bright these last few nights. And I was beginning to be a little bit irritated with it because, you know, it was keeping me up at night, huh? But I am so caught up in the story to find the young king that the strangers, they ask me to go with them. And for a moment, I am filled with such a longing to follow the star. And then I think to myself, I think, I... What? Oh, La Bufana, you're pazzo. You're crazy. Camels and stars and strange men in the middle of the night. <laughs> Not such a good idea, huh? So I say to these men, no, no, I am sorry, but La Bufana, no, she cannot come with you. So the travelers, they go off to Bethlehem without me, but I stand outside in the night for a while and I look up at the star and I wonder. And a few days later, a young shepherd comes running into my village and he says to me, Hey, La Befana, how come you no go to the Bethlehem? Everybody is talking about the baby king that was born, born in a poor little stable. But Befana, everybody is saying, he is the son of God. And just then, the night sky opened up, filled with such beautiful light. Oh, La Bufana can hardly look. It is as if the sky is burst open and filled with the sound of angels singing. <laughs> so many angels like nothing that I had ever heard before. And I know I must go to the Bethlehem. So I run into my little cottage to find a gift to bring to the special bambino. Well, I had seen all the fancy gifts of the kings. I cannot go empty handed, huh? So I look, oh, and I search, but all that I can find are some old scraps of wool. But I take these scraps of wool, I sew them together, I make for the little king a doll. She is better than nothing, huh? Oh, I am so excited. I will go to the Bethlehem. I will see this young king. And I run outside to follow the star. And it is gone. The beautiful star is gone. La Bafana had waited too long. But now, what will I follow to find this young king? So, for more than 2,000 years now, I am searching for the Yesu Bambino, for the Christ child. And on the eve of the Epiphany, this is the day that the wise men come into Bethlehem, I climb down into the chimneys and I look into the faces of all the children. And I think to myself, what if it is you? Oh, what if you are the Christ child? And you know, when they're sleeping, you think it could be so, huh? <laughs> and even though I do not yet find the Yesu Bambino, when I look into these beautiful faces, Oh, they remind me of the miracle of that star. So I leave a little gift. Now, maybe you are thinking, Oh, La Befana, this is a very sad story, no? No, not so. You see, in Italia, Christmas time is a time of great joy. A time when we gather our family together, see? the grandmothers and the grandfathers and the aunts and the uncles and the cousins and we all cook. <laughs> a 
and we eat and we laugh and tell each other stories and all the bambini they play with the presents that i bring and together we sing and we dance oh it is molto bello